Kabuk servant here, the Kiachaka Kijong Pimataka Kinti, one Chaka Frank Yamaha, but Yoruki cash back had also Jar Tinka, but the Jinga Eruki helmet, Hapat here, the Yamaha scooter. Pin Yoruka discount, Bahadu in Yoga Jar Tinka, Hapat here, the Kibak FC, but FCS, but Druka down payment, Kabakala Jar Tinka, phone getting a number, Harum. Do not twist the statement that I made. If X candidate happens to be a three time MP, and is qualified to take up a post of the chairperson of the child commission, will you deny that person just because she is someone's sister? You'll forget the three terms of MPship, MPship that she has given to the state? What are you saying? Don't twist what I said. I said it very clearly. Though we come from the political representative class, we are also human beings. Tomorrow, if I retire and somebody calls me to, jo to, to contribute my services to a particular assignment, you're going to say, don't give it to her. She did nothing for 15 years, for 20 years. What are you saying? Why, is the, why are the people being so critical to people who have served them? Where is the harm? What is wrong? You tell me, what is wrong? Disqualify me on level playing ground. Don't disqualify me because I'm somebody's sister or somebody's wife or somebody's husband. This is wrong, very wrong. I feel very strongly about this. I don't need to represent any political uh, party. I speak as a citizen of the state. I speak as one who has worked very hard to contribute to the welfare of the state. And I feel that Madam Agatha is the right person. Person who knows, has knowledge on the matter, person who has been a parliamentarian, person who has contact at the right places, what else do you want? Qualified as an individual citizen, all round on many accounts. Let us not be like this. Let us not be like this. It is the wrong thing to do. I do not understand why we must time and again break the same issue. A whole debate was initiated Everybody who had to say anything sensible has said it. The Honourable Minister Concern has also made a statement. Why do you want to again ask me? We stand by our commitment. You mean to tell me that we have any other woman who is as qualified as the Honourable former MP for this job? What do you mean nepotism? Doesn't performance count? Doesn't experience count? What else do you want? She would be the ideal person for the job. If you ask me personally, I don't speak on behalf of anyone. I speak as a political leader. If there are political leaders with her kind of experience who are willing to still serve the people, where is the harm? Does it really matter whose sister she is or daughter she is? I think the state of Meghalaya is too critical on families which are political in nature. Why, you do not trust that we also have qualification? Tomorrow another politi politician's child get or another sister get, you will just zero down on nepotism? What extent you will take this nepotism to? These are people who are qualified. What do you want us to do? Again, when we bring unqualified people, you will say they are not qualified. Please sometimes view politicians for their own merit and the ground they stand on. I request the people of Meghalaya not to be unkind like this. Yes, we are a political class. Are you going to condemn us all the time? Are you forgetting the contributions that politicians have made to the state of Meghalaya? And are all of us dumb and without qualification? Why are we not qualified? Please, there is a limit to this debate. Nepotism, nepotism. If people of a constituency choose a particular person for being a child or a wife or a husband of, of a political leader, why is it such a problem? Why is it such a problem? Why don't you let the political class also have some life? We are also human, you know. We also have an ambition. An ambition which is directed to service to the state and the people of this nation. Why is it that people are so mean to us? 
there has to this has to end no please why are you presuming that that will not happen to qualify have you given this person a chance or have you already condemned her do you even know details have you asked have you met her have you asked her if she is willing to resign or has she taken up i mean look please don't do this not fair this is not fair meet madam agatha let madam agatha speak to you she will be the best person but if you ask me as a fellow citizen of the state of meghalaya i have a feeling that she will perform she will perform you know she's she's quite correct whether or not the manner in which her name has been suggested whether they have followed procedures etc etc honorable minister has already responded to those queries am i right i am not in position to know i have no idea i am not privy to that file i have no idea but my plea to the people is through you please stop condemning us we are not bad people you know we have done so much in our own respective capacities and to just throw us out of the system and say we condemn you is like so painful i think every politician will feel what i'm feeling i think every person in the right sense of mind will feel the what i'm feeling all bureaucrats are allowed to continue in various capacities why should politicians also not be allowed i feel very bad you know this is very wrong have you ever spoken to madam agatha have you tried to meet her yet have you met her i spoke to her but she has not joined yet so obviously when there's so much noise being made who will want to come and join why are you throwing out this opportunity of getting an opportunity of her services again i'm sure i have no idea i have not spoken to madam i don't know how she feels about this but i empathize with what she's going through i was so the daughter of a politician so you're going to condemn me you say i have not done a good job by the way we also have to stand for elections and we have to win the same elections that any other ordinary citizen has to win okay don't write us off like this it's not fair because all of us work very hard to be in positions that we have been in 